already gone ahead and replaced some components. I can show you these ones which are coupling and death capacitors, bypass capacitors, the uh, ratio detector filter capacitor, if that's what you call it, and a resistor that was fine except that when I took it off the uh, uh, filter capacitor uh, lugs it was too short to use. So I replaced it. Um, the chassis I've added a polarized plug. We can show that there. And I added a fuse holder, which is there in this corner here. Oh, that away. Right here. And it is the power cord has now been rewired to the switch whereas the hot side uh, or the non-neutral side of the power cord comes in to the fuse and then it goes out of the fuse to the switch and then back to the rectifier uh, plate circuit and the filament chain. The neutral side, the side with the wide lugs, has been brought in right to the chassis and I think I explained before that this chassis is right at line potential which originally as wired would make it a huge shock problem. The can of filter capacitor uh, which is chassis mounted and underneath there uh, the lugs have just been removed and I put in a tie strip and added the resistors and the three filter capacitor replacement filter capacitors thus and everything is ready to go. Now, I have, I'll power this up. I've had it running just to verify that there were no flames and smoke coming from it. And I found that the performance of the F FM was very bad. And I noticed something else. Okay, we have something going on there. Their um, FM IF alignment was really bad and I couldn't understand why that was so poor in sensitivity so I did twiddle the IF adjustments um, that is not to be considered a proper IF alignment procedure but it did prove to me that when I picked it up on a station that I did receive that the um, signal strength and performance improved dramatically. But I did find something else. But also to register we'll get it on there. I see if I can order. demonstrate this. Um, so that there is this sense of, I like this idea of a map being possible, mm. a mapping of language as uh, inscrutable as much as it is yeah. uh, communicative. Looks like I it's going to be uncooperative. Be but I do find that so I think maybe that's where the digital when I flex sure you spend any time at all on Twitter, if you don't, this transformer can, that the signal drops out the that that or happens. comes back remarkably um, well. So that indicates that there's a problem that. inside, Does most likely silver mica disease. Um, and I, really I will have to uh, unsolder and remove this can in order to investigate the problem further. So what I will do is stop the recording right now, remove the can, and then I can check and see what's going on. I'll have to try and determine if it's got the uh, silver mica disease problem. Then I will have to figure out what value of uh, 
capacitor to replace that with a little mica capacitor and uh, then we can reinstall it and go ahead with the proper alignment and I do have the alignment pages for this bottle at any rate I shall see you soon okay I have removed this particular offending IF can and I'm about to open it. Now I need a reasonably stout pair of pliers. To push these tabs back. I have marked where it goes in. There and there into the can. I've also marked the chassis top and bottom. And we'll see if we can't get this out without damaging anything. This is always the joke. Ah, there it comes nicely. Okay, so this does have these plate capacitors. If I can show this, see if I can zoom in a bit. It's not going to focus. Let's back it up a bit. There we go. Now these plate capacitors are here and here. If I can show that better. There, how's that? It's hard looking in the monitor and figuring out where you're going. Okay, these, they're already black with migration. They're supposed to be clear. I believe that is, well I don't know whether that's part of the manufacturing process or not, but at any rate that should be the problem. I see no problem with soldering or anything else on here. So what I can do now is to remove the coils and check the capacitor there for value. So I shall do that right now. I think the easiest thing for me to do is just snip that and move it out of the way. Pardon my noise. Okay. We're not even in shot here. Ah, okay. Let's bring that back a bit so everybody can see. And we'll see if... There. We're in capacitor range here. No, we're not either. We are running out of battery. Alright, I shall find another multimeter. Okay, back again. Well, I've got the uh, transformer apart and I unsoldered one connection to one of the coils and I attempted to measure the capacitance of the plate capacitor that's inside and read on many meters nothing, period. Um, so that left me with a decision to try and figure out what value of capacitor to use. Now I went online, you know, Google is your friend, and I checked a few sites to see what other people have found and the consensus was for FMIF generally 22, 25, 27 picofarad would uh, allow the uh, IF transformer to be tuned to 10.7 megahertz. Um, I also found a resonance calculator site and I entered, I came back and measured the inductance which was 
wherever my tester went. Oh, it's gone. Point oh, gee, I can't remember now. The uh, at any rate, I entered in the measured inductance of the coil and inserted 10.7 megahertz for the required frequency and did a calculation and it came up with 22 point something something uh, picofarad uh, in value of capacitor. So that's sort of in line with what was used on various uh, old radio sites. So um, that's what I'm going to use. I hope I have something relatively close in stock otherwise it'll be a delay while I order parts. I thought I would show you what came out. See if I can... Whoop, wrong way. Okay. These are the pieces that I took out and it consists of two top plates which are those and I sliced up the mica insert because it was actually as part of the manufacturing process it was inserted before the coil assembly was put in there and so I couldn't just lift it up so I sliced it and pulled it out in pieces as, as you can see there is what looks like a lot of uh, silver migration onto these mica pieces which at the edges they're transparent you can see mica is that way and then you can see the other areas where it's dark I believe that's where the problem is. So what I'm left behind with is the coil that now has no capacitance in there whatsoever. I left the bottom plate attached to the one side. It's just as easy and safe to leave it in there. It's not connected to anything. And the mica, as I said, has been removed. And the um, top plate, which was hooked up to the other side, has been... Actually, what I did was I lifted it up carefully. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go. That's a better one. Okay. So the one plate is left there. The other plate has been removed from that post and what it was it sandwiched that mica piece in between and due to the thickness of the mica I presume and the size of these plates produced the approximate capacitance that was needed to tune these coils to 10.7 megahertz. So now I have to reassemble this very carefully put it back in and what I will do, what I've done once or twice before with FM silver mica disease repairs on these IF transformers is just find a suitable capacitor and put them across the primary and the secondary and then I can continue with the uh, alignment. If I have particular problems getting it to peak then obviously my choice of capacitors will have to be altered but we shall see. I had very good luck. I had an Electrohome console stereo chassis that I, for uh, a customer, I did an extensive uh, repair, restoration of it, only to find that when it was completed that the FM did the same thing as this. It did, didn't have rushing, crashing noises showing arcing, but what it did is it had very poor performance and when you twisted the lugs or the case the can for this uh, the signal would get stronger and get weaker which indicated that the problem was there and I found capacitors and I put them in and I could align it and everything was fine the customer left very happy and so was I that it actually worked okay I shall put it back in the case and then we'll go looking for some capacitors that would be suitable see you soon